my pal. Uh, hello. Uh, we've had uh, we've had a few questions in uh, on social media over the last couple of days. Uh, to the main man, really, the whole questions for Rob Ebbs, Welsh international prop, uh, Scarless prop, who's uh, got a bit of a quiet time, obviously, with, with everything that's going on. He's a bit of a quiet time, doing a bit of training, uh, a bit of weights, he's saying, so it's a frustrating time for, for everyone, uh, rugby players included. So we're trying to uh, brighten up his day a bit uh, by asking uh, all you social media users for... Uh, a few questions, uh, and we're going to run through them. It's a sort of not quite a quick fire, um, but we've got some great questions to ask. So a couple of them are going to put him on the on the spot. Uh, beginning with Dai Lama on Twitter, uh, Rob, he wants to know the worst person you've ever roomed with, and why. Ah, uh, should he go? Um, that's a good one to start off with. I've had a few um, dodgy roommates over over my time. Um, going back to peak the meat back in the day, but it used to always be good because he used to have a rucksack full of sweets. So um, uh, I've, I've been with Samson Lee, who likes to shower with the door open in his white white Y front. Um, so I wasn't a big fan of that. And then Ken Ken Owens, but he, he used to let well. I'm sure he still does, but he, he uh, lets off the most horrific farts going. So um, I probably have to go with Ken. <laughs> oh, you're, you're throwing him under the bus there. You won't be happy with that one. Uh, true Fitz guy, you know? Uh, fair play. Pete, they're all, all front rowers. What about outside the front row? Anyone outside the front row you're going with? I think the front row is pretty much stuck together. So um, didn't really move outside of that box, really. No, I, I, when I was TM, I used to put the front row together. Just the stinky, the stinky props used to share all the time. Hence, you wouldn't be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam Reese on Twitter wants to know who would win in a fight at Cubby Boy, at Uze Kasim, or you? Um, difficult question, that. I'm not much of a fighter. Um, Cubby liked the I think he'd take it, but I think Kaz could be a bit of a dark horse. So um yeah, we'll give it to Usair Kasim. Right or Owen Richards on Twitter is asking who's the best cricketer in the squad. And the cricket's a bit I find it a bit boring uh, personally, but I know there are a couple of good cricketers in the squad. Best one. Yeah. Um I'm uh I'm batting around these answers a little bit as well, right? Um, Shings? Shings is good, but Dinky's very good as well. Dan Jones. So, uh, it'd probably be between those two. Yeah, it would be good Shings uh, bowling, fast bowling against Dinky, wouldn't it? That would yeah. be a good, uh, a good yeah. challenge. We're going to watch that one, would Yeah. Davo on Twitter. Um, he's been rather complimentary, to be fair to him. With your vision, passing and handing skills, do you think it's time you stop being so generous, letting the other tens have a chance, and took your rightful position at outside half? Your club and country deserve it. <laughs> Cheers, Dave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, well, I've been thinking this for a long time myself, Dave. You know, um, so uh, yeah, no, I, um, the boys who are there are doing pretty well, but I'm sure, sure, I'd give it a good go if I needed to. If the country called upon me, like uh, Davo, I got, I got to be honest, Davo, we do spend a bit of you do pop up, but I'll sit off quite occasionally. Anyway, it's not, it's not yeah. a like an event. Nah, I, I get that's that's just being lazy though, not getting to the ruck in time, so just pop up in the ten channel. <laughs> Fix of the trade. Yeah, it's experience, as they say. Yeah. Uh, Adwell Jones on Twitter, which opposition prop has the worst chat at scrum time? Ah. Uh, um, oh, there's been a few with bad chat. Um, most of them, really, so I can't really pick one, but. Um, uh, Marla? No, I, I, quite, I find him quite funny. Um, Obviously, not everything, but with some of the stuff he does. Um, but uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I'd probably say Elliot D. I know he's not a prop, but he he's got pretty poor chat for the Dragons, like. So. He'd be he'd be pretty disappointed with that one, wouldn't he? Is he was he did he try to be funny or what? I um, I he might he might do, but I didn't find it very funny. But uh, yeah, he's just he like he likes to give it the big one, so uh, you won't mind me saying that anyway. I'm sure you give him plenty back. <laughs> yeah. Sophie on Twitter, if you had to pick one of the Scarlet boys to play your position. Who would it be and why? So if you stay stay out to the front row, anyone outside the front row? Do you know what? I'd probably pick Dan Jones, Dinky, because he's a good counter-rucker, if you watch him. He's probably one of the best counter-ruckers, uh, counter-rucking counter tens I've ever seen. So um, I don't know what he'd be like at scrummaging, but we'll give him a crack. And I'd probably play his position then instead. So straight swap. <laughs> That was the second part of the question, which position would you choose to play? So, straight swap, you were yeah. getting into half, Dan Jones into prop. Yeah, I think he'd be happy with that as well. Would you goal kick? Oh, I goal kick from halfway, you got. Slot him over, eyes closed. Truth? <laughs> I got a good drop kick in me. Have you? So, yeah, just haven't got the hamstrings to keep up with it. Like. <laughs> no, they need a bit of hamstring strength. And then, otherwise, well, pretty much it. That was the one thing that used to wind me up, see, this is after finishing playing, as a new boys then, at the end of a session or whatever, you always have a little pop at goal, didn't you, and trying to kick yeah. the ball the post and all that, and I just thought, oh, can you imagine a, can you imagine a hamstring going, Brad Harrington, fitness coach, would have been going nuts. Yeah, he would have, he would have gone nuts. So. Mm. Uh, Josh Doyle on Facebook, who was the worst dress sense in the squad with Wales and the Scarlets? With Wales and the Scarlets, um, some pretty, pretty uh, big contenders for that one. Um, Front rowers. Ryan Elias has got this top that he wears, and um, it's got loads of holes in it. But the boys take the mick. They say the moths have had it, but he, he seems to love it. It's a white top that he's at. He must have had it for about five, six years. With loads of holes in it, so yeah, we'll give it to Ryan Elias. Is it skin tight as well? It must be with Ryan. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I try not to look at it as that bad. So um. we got one from Lucy Davis on Facebook. What did Prince William say to you in the famous photo? Uh, yeah, we just I was just talking about scrums. He said what happened in the field scrum and. Uh, that, that I did well against the tight dead and stuff like that. <laughs> nah, do, you think just, do you think he's got a genuine interest or is he just... Yeah, big? he's he's a really nice guy. He's like, um, you know, just a normal normal bloke, really. And uh, he was just ask, asking, if obviously, if we uh, how good it was to be out there. And, um, yeah, I was just asking him how his family and stuff was, huh? So... <laughs> Uh, can he, he's very truthful then on string, is he? I said, yeah, 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 the yeah. yeah, he's um last time I spoke to him um was after the France France game at home and um he was like, oh, I've had a hard week this week. The kids are on half term. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> You can't imagine it, can you? Yeah. But talking of royalty, uh, we're going into, well, Welsh royalty in a way, but a New Zealander. What were you shouting in Gatlin's year when we won the Grand Slam? When when was that? When was I shouting in his ear? Uh, uh, the trophies, was it? Was it the trophy reception out in the field there? Oh, uh, right. Okay. Um, I can't remember. I was probably saying, uh, I was just probably pretty excited. Um, a couple of quiet drinks to celebrate. Yeah, something like that. Because so. he, he enjoys a couple as well, doesn't he? Yeah, everyone. I think everyone enjoyed a couple that night anyway. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was good. Good, good days. Um, that must have been a frustration, actually, talking about last year's Grand Slam into this year's Six Nations. Um, yeah. Wayne has been uh, moving the squad around a bit, actually. So, uh, yeah. you played against then came out for the game and back on the bench. He's obviously um, trying to get his 
giving everyone an opportunity at the moment is uh, is that hard to take or is it something you've got to put up with and, and deal with um no to be fair it's it's um you know it's, it's, the squad's quite competitive now and um you know i think you've just got to take your chance when you're giving it and um Obviously, there's new, it's new to everyone with a new coaching setup and everything. So, um, yeah, it's, no, it's good. And, um, you know, just obviously Wayne's trying to figure out his best team or whatever at the moment. And um, obviously, after losing the first couple of games, um, he swapped the team around a little bit. So, um, yeah, no, it's good. As I said, you've just got to take your opportunity when it comes and try and show him and nail down your spot. Yeah, well, well, well done on that anyway because you've had a time out, a period out through, yeah. through injury, and a frustrating yeah. time for you. So it's good to see you. Um, it's good to see you back here eh, on the international stage. Cheers, Gar, top man. Uh, Kira on Instagram, funniest teammate you've played with. Funniest teammate. Um, there's a few funny ones. Uh, Cubby's quite funny. Um, sometimes he's not funnier. Um, <laughs> Ryan Lias is quite, I find him quite funny. Uh, he's got a dry sense of humor, so um, yeah, I go on quite well with Ryan Lias, and uh, I find him quite funny. Really. Is there, um, are there moments in the game where you just want to burst out laughing because of what people have said, or do you try to live? Used to be, but everyone seems pretty serious now. But back in the day when uh. Lou Reed was playing guy, which I'm sure you're aware of. Um, he was playing for Cardiff Blues once, and we were doing quite well in the scrum. And um, he was in the Cardiff scrum, and he was uh, he was making the sounds of reversing the <laughs> reversing sound, which was quite funny. Everyone everyone got up and was laughing a little bit. And I'm sure there's been another one um, when he was playing on Boxing Day and he was like hands up if you had turkey <laughs> yes. uh, or whatever so uh, yeah but no nah, there are times where you can have a bit of a laugh but um, normally it's quite tense yeah so, well done, well done. Um, Cullen8522 on Instagram I don't know if you can ask this one how fast can you run 100 metres oh, I haven't done 100 metres for a while but I'm pretty quick what, what about your 40 metres 40 metres. Um, I haven't done that for a while either. No. Uh, I'd like to think I could do it in about 13 seconds. Eh? 13, 14 seconds. Ah, you'd be alright with that, wouldn't you, surely? Yeah. You're pretty, pretty mobile prop, wouldn't you? Yeah, 13, say 13 seconds. Good, right. Uh, can you remember, this is from Magic Morgan on Instagram, can you remember what your first competitive rugby match was? Where was it? How old were you? And what position did you play? For Scarlet or? Well, uh, compare. Yeah. I, I'd say it's one of your f first games you remember. Um, one of my first, one of my one of my first ever games, which sticks out in my mind, was playing up in Pontypridd for Kamal and Quinns um, in Sardis Road. It was only like my second game, I think. And um, it was a bit, well, I was on the bench and Kevin Jones, the old prop uh, from, from from Quinns, ended, hitting, ended up hitting the uh, opposition tight dead. And uh, well, he got Simbin and I was coming on then to this angry prop with blood all over his face. So uh, that's one that sticks out in my mind. And the crowd are going mental as well. So uh, I must have been about 19. 18, 19. Did, you, uh, did he manage to uh, get revenge on you or was it that uh, you managed to stay out of it? Uh, as I was going into scrum, I said, cool head, like that's our gentleman's agreement here. And uh, yeah. nah, it, was, it was all good. We lost that day, though. That's when uh, Ponty and Ponty were very good. So, um, yeah, we lost that day, but um, good, good times, good memories. Yeah. And this is the last one. That was from Llewellyn Rugby, and he's on Instagram. The best player you've played with and against? Oof. That's a good question. Um, best player I've played with? Um, I'd probably say 
in my opinion. Um, Reese Priestland. Mm. And against, I'd probably say, Waisaki Naholo for New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been... Um, when, God, when did you play against him, Rob? Uh, 2015. God, yeah, time goes on, see, doesn't it? Was it 2016, maybe? 2016. One of those years. You were still relatively young as a as a prop then as well, weren't you? Yeah, young. Well, you so, still are. You still are relatively young as a prop. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, Oga. How old? 20, 28 next month. Ah, no. You're coming into your peak as a prop, aren't you? Well, that's what they say. <laughs> Look at Pete Eds. Pete Eds played till he was 46, man. Yeah, I know. But he only, he only, he only ran 46 centimetres on, in the game as well. Yeah, so, he just held up the scrub. He didn't have much else to do, did he, to be fair? <laughs> nah, he was good, Pete. So. Uh, Rob, that was the last question. Big thank you uh, for your time. Um, sure. I, know it's, I know it's a tough period for you, right? But um, yeah. uh, stay fit and healthy. Stay home. Yeah. Um, I'll try and keep training if you can and hopefully we'll see you back on the rugby field I will do uh, hope everyone stays safe and uh, stay at home and uh, everyone stay healthy so all the best good thanks a lot Rob see you soon